over here. Um, Return to Sender. Let's continue this series. So I'm getting um, that this person, whoever this is, who's like really missing you and, and all of that, um, download that's been coming in the past few days. This person, um, they just like left a karmic person behind. I see that this is official and this person doesn't yet know, but they're picking up on it, okay? Like, uh, I really see this person like quite literally escape. So let's get here a little further. And that was coming through last night. I'm hearing the name Mandy. Yeah. So this person has like, absolutely decided on you to be with you i'm here in richmond they left this karmic third party in like some kind of very confusing situation that's what i'm hearing uh-oh i'm hearing ivory Someone's wearing a belt with like hoops or loops on it or something. I'm hearing something about origami. I'm hearing Gani. Sounds like Grammy, but like Gani. I'm hearing something about Uganda. Tripoli that came through last night. Yeah. Tripoli came through last night. I'm hearing something about Florence. This karmic third party has no idea. I'm here wearing syndication. Guys, some of you, this person is coming towards you. They had to fake this person out. Now, I don't know why they would have to do something like that, but yeah, they like curveball this karmic. X. Maybe it's their X, I'm not sure. But yeah, they left him like high and dry hanging. Like, literally just, like, completely confused. Some of you, someone's a chef. I'm here in, hello? Like, I'm all alone, hello? It's like, yeah, they, they, they weren't answering their, I don't know what, this is, like, really weird. But, I'm here in Bayonne. I think that's in New Jersey. Something about Florence, Italy. Are you really gonna switch up on me like that? It's like the Adele Hello Music video, but like where she's actually talking to him. <laughs> it's like the remake. <laughs> I'm here in Clarence. He's on a flight, on a plane, completely com confusing this karmic with their behavior. I'm here in Brainsboro, Brainsburg. Yeah. Some of you, something about Nebraska, Omaha, Nebraska. I'm mean, here in Navy, the Navy. Yeah, so, so someone is confused. It's his ex, I hear that. He left her with like a, a burner phone number. He changed his phone number and everything on her last minute. Wow. Wow. Okay, um... I see someone eating raisins and they have a, like some kind of birthmark on the face. He's, he's preparing something for you. Um, now this could be a metaphor, right? Like leaving the karmic third party. Something about school. I keep hearing something about Florence. 
yeah, so he's on his way again. Etta James, at last. Two of Pentacles in reverse, the lovers in reverse. He could have had a career in another country. The fact that we have such a focus on travel makes me think that this is something of a lifestyle that he's leaving behind. Can I get a little bit on what this ex represented to him? Like, what were they together? Yeah, see again, this Ten of Cups in reverse keeps coming out. Some of you, it's a sibling. A wicked, yeah, there's something that was off here. The magician. <sighs> something about their life is now, as they see it, ready for you to come into their life. The three of swords in reverse. They were embarrassed about something and now they're ready to confront that with you. I'm here in, I'm in your doorway. Oh. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. So this person wants to talk to you. They're definitely gonna, like we said again, like call you up. So maybe they'll tell you like right before they arrive. I see you being like, are you sure? Like you're really gonna like come over here? Yeah, I'm seeing someone here standing in the in the living room. I mean, I couldn't leave you alone like that, which is interesting because we're saying that they left the car at their party. It's kind of giving me like, return it on the saddest corner yeah can i get on who is this third party i mean it may not be a person it could be a general energy i'm hearing oh ophelia i don't know that song but i'm hearing that right there i see green yeah this person completely, like, it could be a job, even. What in the itchiness is going on, guys? It's the moon and cancer void, of course. Maybe, what is, if it's not a person, like, what is this third party? I mean, we're in his and her, some of you. Yeah, I mean, it's their ex. I don't see this person, like, rebounding on you. Some of you, it is a sibling, though. Return yours or theirs. Hmm. I don't know about that. Five of Pentacles, Harvey. I mean, we're in King, King John. King John Jonas the Tut. I mean, we're in the third, the fourth, the fifth. Interesting. Maybe he's like in a space with siblings. I don't know what that means for everybody. It's like an ancient thing, maybe, yeah. Yeah. I see he ditched something. Like, okay, I'm done with this. Like, it's like when, it's again, this childlike energy. Like when we were saying last night, when, when there's a kid who's like really mesmerized by some shiny object, and so <clears throat> they can't take their eyes off of it. Yeah, it's like he kind of just dropped the ball with whatever else he was doing. Maybe literally he was playing ball with these kids. I don't know. Maybe he was being a player, whatever it is. Like he's just done with that. I'm here on, I don't want to like focus on that anymore. I mean, we're in her breast size. Is enough? What? <laughs> Return it. I don't know what for everybody. Okay. I don't know for everybody. Yeah. What's going on here? The sound is messing up. Yeah, because they don't want that out. This is giving me sudden, okay? Like, he's gonna run back to you. It's running, it's running, it's running, yeah. Spirit wants to emphasize that. He's running back. Like he's not just like calmly deciding. So I wanna get a little more though on what this shift is. 
Some of you, this third party karmic is gonna figure it out though, like last minute when they don't see him answering or whatever. I mean, that's it, I've made up my mind. But it's like, you know, for some you may see, it, the karmic is gonna see it as immature, for sure. Like, what happened to this guy? Yeah, and this person not gonna have access to them anymore via text. I see that is a fact. Just something about cupcakes, something about Paris. I'm smelling bagels. I'm gonna be wearing brekkie. I think it's Australian. He's in a rush. Total rush here, guys. Energy. The Hermit in reverse. King of right. I gotta, I gotta meet with her immediately, like, right now. He's, like, very... He's, like, itching to, like, interact with you. So, but... Can I see more on this, like... Yeah, whatever. Maybe it's, like, he was out there. I don't know. What does that mean? So, the sun. Four of Wands. The Wheel of Fortune. The Magician. I see, like, little pieces of paper hole-punching shavings from the paper. Mirroring, I just want to hold her tight. Six of Wands River. It's like he was out at sea. So, no, some of you, this is his mother, the third party. Suddenly his mother realizes that he grew his own his own voice out here. Okay, to the point where he takes action. He's not going to even tell her where he's going anymore. I don't know, this is for somebody, guys. Who is this third party spirit? I mean, it's going to be different for everybody, I would assume, but... Again, the Five of Pentacles for the third party. Okay. It can be self-talk as well. Um, yeah, now I'm seeing someone in my living room again. Yeah, I'm hearing underline on the Omaha, Nebraska. That's a very strong message for somebody there. Another Five of Swords. I'm hearing Emmett. Emmett, nice name. They were uh, arguing with themselves on this. Again, the Ten of Cups in reverse. You see this? Same cards over and over. So there's no way of changing, I mean, the fact that this is maybe more abstract. Like, I'm not seeing a person, but for some it is. It's many things. It's a person. It's a lifestyle. Mirroring. Yeah, Queen of Wands. Maybe it's the way they saw you, whatever, you know. King of Cups. The Hanged Man. And the Six of Pentacles. Some of you, this is about what you mean to them. They need to explain. They feel like they're ready now to explain it to you. Interesting. Two of Cups. Why? Why now? So they could have been having a good time. Some of you, they could be, uh, they could have been on a drug. Maybe they finally decided to get off of drugs. That's for someone. Um, but I feel this is very nuanced. Like this is just no way that this can be, you know, everybody's message. Yeah, but yeah, the devil. Some of you, yeah, I mean. So there are different conversations here. Some of you, there, this is more like touching, touching, touching down. Touch down with the real, re, the reality of the situation here. You know, as Neptunian as this person is, I mean, they have, they're not, they're not without their addictions, their persuasions, their, you know, there's a lot going on with this person. So maybe for some of you, they were really, they, they had an addiction to something. Again with the Five of Pentacles. Now I'm starting to think. <laughs> so, Spirit, um, what, what do you, what do you represent, the Quarren represents this person on the left, please? Some of you, they were rebellious even with you. Like you were, you represent changes. I'm hearing changes that are afoot in, in a direction that is of, benefit to them and they know that 
It's kind of like they had to make peace with their devil side. That's what I hear, but let's see. To me, they're not sure if you like them. They're not sure if you want them. I see the color yellow here. Let's get now on what this other, what it, what they're leaving to pursue you. What that represents to them. What is that? What is that world? I mean, some of you, they don't want to, yeah, the devil, Empress in reverse. Oh, the star. For the slightest of you, this won't be for everybody, but they're, they may have a sex addiction. Okay. I strongly feel there are, there was a drug involved. Maybe they healed that. If there was spirit, what's the count on that? But of course, right, this is a journal video. They're balanced now. Maybe they see things in a more balanced way. Okay. Like, it's like when you leave the matrix, it's like, you know, the matrix has different meaning to you. The things in the matrix have different meaning to you when you leave the matrix. You see what I'm saying? So just if they were, they could have had a toxic, toxic side here. That's for some. Very dreamy shadow Neptune though. I see shadow Neptune with that. And I feel like you represent more of this like, reality check happiness okay this reality check type of happiness some of you you are the third party the question is do they want to be with you in their mind or do they want to be with you in the 3d some of you they don't know if they're good for you if you want them and that was coming through last night so some of you here this person may even have a bit of like a melancholy energy some of you, they're very romantic and they're not sure if they would be good for you. So, like romantic though, I'm seeing more in like a, they have a bit of a heavy energy, maybe morose. Yeah, even, sounds Scorpio. So, let's hear again. What is it that, um, can I know a bit more about that spirit? What is it about themselves that they don't, yeah. This person obviously feels guided towards you. So the way that they leave your life, they come into your life is guided. And they're not random, like they're very intentional in, in many ways, even if it feels random. But the thing here, you know, it's interesting that these messages are proliferating. Return it to sender. I don't give a fuck. Get out of the chat as well, okay? I'm not reading the chat, I'm just feeling the energy and someone needs to get out, okay? Uh, not necessarily that you're typing or whatever, but I'm feeling guided to say that. So you need to get out of the whatever, on what ever planetary spectrum you're on, okay? The chat. Maybe this third person is like, inter yo, can I get now a little bit more on this third? I keep seeing yellow. Again, the third party with the King of Swords. Interesting. See, you are like sobering to this person. Someone he felt like, mm, how did he feel around this, whatever this energy is? It could be you, you know, he had trouble giving into you, the world you represented. I see a rooster. For some of you, he didn't want to, you know, intimidate you with his passion. Some of you though, he's a major baller. <laughs> yeah, he was, he was a major player, major baller. Mm -hmm. He's intense though. It's like, I feel like it's on or off. So some of you, he has a dog. If he's very into you, he's, yeah, I keep seeing someone here again. Return it. If he's very into you, he's very, very into you. Some, something about Paloma Mallorca.
this person um is like kind of boyish for some or they're like young don't doesn't nod about gender just take it as you all but i hear them more boyish they're like young maybe young energy and i feel like they didn't want to grow up is what i'm hearing as well for some they weren't ready for you that's what i hear for some now we did mention something about the physical body so what yeah what is um spirit can you shed light on that Some of you, the question is commitment. I feel part of it is whether or not Some of you, this person was being influenced by something or someone that was skewing, again, the same energy. It was like impacting their behavior, like maybe even the people they were hanging out with, like maybe they were, they were like bros, for instance. I'm seeing a llama here, like a Sherpa doll or something. I'm hearing that song again. It came through earlier, Samantha Mamba. Interesting. Don't want to love you if you don't love me. Anyways. Return in the sacral. Some of you, you and this person, you have very strong attraction and chemistry, but sometimes it's like, um, possibly too strong. And mm -hmm, are they worried about their behavior with you? Some of you, they're like not sure how to handle this connection with you in some ways because, you know, there's a lot of passion here. But at the same time, guys, like they're, I'm kind of getting someone who doesn't know how to treat like a princess. Like they've been just stirring around for so long. Sorry, guys, I just need to lay it down. I'm feeling very like, <laughs> I'm feeling this, this cancer moon. Ugh. In the later degrees, I'm just like, ugh. It was a very strong surge of energy with the sun and with, yeah, clear. But then uh, with the moon and cancer, it's just like a bit flaccid, love and light. It's getting flaccid. It's getting a bit soggy. It's getting, it's just getting heavier. So yeah. We've got to just wait until this freaking moon leaves Cancer, Love and Light. Um, this is me personally because, yeah, I mean, I, yeah, I've got a lot of Cancer in my chart. And I just, yeah, we need, we need to get a move on with this heavy rain monsoon of a moon sign. <laughs> Sorry, guys. But yeah, and then we finally going to have the moon in Leo. Although... I'll be honest, you know, the moon of Leo is not quite my favorite moon placement when it comes to just, you know, the energy. Like, personally, I find it, like, a little too much for me. Um, it's just sometimes just too too damn intense. Anyways, okay, I don't know what's going on. Complaining Carly. <laughs> Return it, clear the energy, okay? Yeah, I'm hearing again. Leave the chat okay something is too much yo oh you have a moon in in cancer nice yeah you know like um i don't know something something that's too heavy is just like oh it's like this mixture of this moon it's like i'm getting like nauseous like on the astral because we went so quick into the sun and pluto and it's like it was so you're it's just all this air energy all this uranium and we're like we're like flying high and then and then this and then it's like this moon is getting heavier and heavier and it's like creeping on it's 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 creeping upon the uranus so anyways it's just kind of random right now i just feel a little random right now with this energy um very interesting energies but yeah it's like almost like so many like curveballs have been coming up <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, Moon and Leo is intense. Interesting. Like, personally for me, whenever the Moon is in Leo, I'm just like, what the fuck is the goddamn issue right now? Can't get nothing done. It's like a frustrating energy. <laughs> All the Moon is in Leo. <laughs> I love, um, yeah, okay. Anyway, so this is just, like, not about me right now, is it? Or is it? Or is it? I'm here in, um, forever, ever, and ever, ever, and ever, ever. So, yeah. Oh, man, so. Return and clearing the crown on Throw Shop or return in the third eye. So, yeah, guys, like, I see this lady, like, laying in bed. Some of you, this person, did they really, really just get up and literally just ghost someone to approach, to, 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 I'm here to move in with you. Clear and throw. Should I see something about a guard? Just return it. Oh my god, I can't. I'm here with Abdullah. That came through last night. Oh. <sighs> Alright. What's everyone's moon sign here? By the way. Yeah, he's running through the airport. So, Samit is past life energy. 100%. Like, I see an ocean, something about ocean. He took a very sketchy, risky route, like, back in the day, you know? He crossed the Rocky Mountains. Like, it's just like something, like, people don't do. But he, he like, went with his faith. There was like a like a four in one chance that most people don't survive. Uh, but he like kind of, I don't know. He did daredevil stuff. He scaffolded the side of this cliffside for you. I'm really mad to literally get to your place. Oh wow, Scorpio, Capricorn, oh Aquarius, Pisces. Oh, wow. Almost like everybody here has a water moon. Interesting. Oh, Capricorn moon. That's nice. Well, because it grounds. I'm saying from my perspective always, right? I mean, yeah. Everybody, you are all entitled to your interpretation. But yeah, moon and Capricorn is very light grounding. Uh, I never dated someone with a moon and cap. But yeah, I had some experiences with. You actually feel, uh, whatever. I don't know what we're talking about right now. Oh my God, we're just going to the edge. Oh, it moves out. Oh, cool. Yeah, this energy is all over the place. Oh my God. <laughs> oh. Like it was, it started out very Uranian and then now it's like lunar with Uranian. It's turned into like a mosh pit. <laughs> You too? Oh my god. Yeah, the dreams have been insane. As of like... Clear. Three months ago, like, the, the dreams were getting really crazy. Guys, this, this person, for some of you, they really did leave third party. Um... I see something about ice cream again. Yeah. Oh, I read that as Ukraine. Oh, Uranus. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. Moon is Sagittarius and you're in Gemini. Wow. That's a lot of uh, mutable. But <laughs> do you know your rising sign? Kind of similar, yeah. I, I've known people, their sun, Aries, moon, well, moon, I guess what's pertinent here, moon and Gemini. Well, even with a cardinal sun, and the, and the I'm hearing something about muscular, muscular? I don't know, <laughs> this energy is so, oh, um, part two, we just, like, literally, I mean, the astral is just, oh, funky, funky right now, but. We're picking up on all of these these stray, like, little stray coins off of the floor of the ocean kind of vibe. But yeah, that's what it, at least, that's what it's feeling like. Um, but yeah, and then she's got, um, what does she have in Sagittarius? 
Heck, I mean, just the moon in Gemini, she's extremely mutable. She's also the rising Gemini, rising Virgo. So there's a lot of that Mercury. Hmm. Oh, you're a rising Gemini too? Wow. That's very interesting. Yeah, a lot of Mercury gotta like uh, have an outlet for that. Do you do something with your hands? Something like with technical skill? <laughs> yeah. No, it really does. Like, I, I feel like it's like the synapses aren't really like clicking, right? They're not, things aren't, it's obvious. I mean, it's not solidified yet. Wait until we get until deeper degrees with the sun and then things will. Fall. We'll talk more about that on hourly astrology. And like the reads, like, I've been doing all these extendeds, I recorded them, but for members on weekly, but then um, a spirit's telling me to hold off on posting them, so I'm gonna listen to that. Just return it to sender. That could really help, like, if you have uh, a lot of mercury to do something with your hands. Yeah. So, yeah. So, I keep saying something about ice cream. Somebody commented, they were like, I know this guy. He wears a robe. <laughs> and he's at home eating ice cream. And, or he's, she says something like, he loves ice cream or something. I just imagine this, this big mamone, this mama's boy. In a robe, like some plush, plushy robe, plush ass robe with some bottles of beer, <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> and some buckets of ice cream, and scratching his belly, and <laughs> doing a burp. <laughs> I was gonna type. Yeah, he may be out. <coughs> <coughs> the, um, I don't even know. Man, this is just like, I can't. Like, you cannot, we cannot sustain nothing with this energy. It's like trying to build like a mud brick house. And it's like, nothing sticks. Like, we, what happened to our earth energy, guys? <laughs> Everything. And Venus. Oh, Venus. Venus is changing signs too. So, I mean, albeit it is going. Oh, but yeah. <laughs> I read that as all or nothing at all. So, yeah, but right now it's just, like, really, really awkward. I mean, I just feel, like, sluggish right now. Like, I need to just lay in one place, like, because the energy is, it's, like, not conducive to anything. It's, like, <laughs> it's, like, you can't do nothing. Especially with the Uranus, because it's, like, so much air. Like, Uranus is not really, Uranus is an astral traveling, so... We might as well just use the energy to channel. <laughs> maybe that's where spirit wants us anyway, so. But even, like, channeling, my god. I mean, maybe it's, maybe we're really reaching out. I, I mean, it's been very synaptic with the uh, epiphanies. Oh, the epiphanies have been just insane. And the past life energies have been insane. But for myself, at least during this transit of Pluto into uh, Aquarius and same with the sun but in terms of like making anything practical of that my god sure ain't nothing like when we had a 29 degrees of Pluto conjunct the sun and cap yeah it's kind of blah but um yeah guys soon enough I mean we'll be in the moon in uh, Gemini uh the moon in Leo Leo um yeah Come to think of it, that makes a lot of sense. You know, we had the moon in Gemini and not too long ago, concurrent to these planets and now air. So we had a lot of air the last few days. 
and then you know the moon going to cancer it's like i don't know it just feels like something is sinking so i don't know we'll go with spirit we'll flow with that and just see where they need to take us i just like uh i'm not gonna fight like i just decided i'm not gonna fight that wave i was i was trying to jade you're okay doll i was trying to like get the members wreath out and like oh the energy is very heavy so anyways what do you mean how do you deal with having all signs in chart like you got what do you mean doll what do you mean <laughs> Like, yeah, we're all signs, so do you have, like, a lot of different energies? I mean, you got a lot of... Like, you have two pl you have two placements already in Gemini, and you got Sag. Where th where's your Venus? Where's your sun? Where's... Uh, what you said. Your sun jumped back. <laughs> What am I doing? Moon, oh my god, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Moon and Gemini! Moon and Gemini! Moon and Gemini, uh. Moon and Gemini, you said, right? And then you have a sun and key. Oh god, no. The hell, I gotta scroll. You said you have <laughs> Moon and Gemini. I'm hearing something about Williamsburg, Brooklyn. Oh, Venus and Cancer. Interesting. Yeah, it's one of those moments like Spirit just like, and conk out. And I'm just like, <laughs> so. And I'm very itchy. I don't know what's with it. It's this moon, and I'm telling you, in Cancer. Remember last time it was the, um, we were feeling gassy. So you got a Venus in Cancer, you got a moon. Let me see. Rising moon and Sagittarius oh and you're a Gemini right sun sign so that's interesting yeah and your Venus is in cancer wow how does that how does that feel so and then you got what's your Mars Taurus, a lot of air in the chart. Anyways, um, I see something about cowboys in the saloon. So yeah, um, I don't know how this relates to this this person showing up. For some of you, like I'm hearing something about Christianity. <laughs> Everybody's itching. Oh my god. I'm so itchy right now. <sighs> yeah. Is this jacket? I don't know, like... It's a sweater. Oh, what's your Mars sign? Well, maybe, maybe she's behind. The chat is maybe out of sync. But... Yeah, some of you like left um a major job behind it can be, or he's done with some kind of navy, the army. My left palm is itching. He could have cashed out. Oh, I'm so like, oh god. I see a parrot. Yeah, I see someone here like standing in the living room. This happened some time ago. Um remember when Alyssa was in the chat. We were talking about that guy just hanging out with the hood. Not sure if it's quite the same, but it could be. Return it. Mars and Taurus. Oh, interesting. Interesting. So, 
Oh my god. I'm itching like a frog. <laughs> I'm here with something about the SWAT team. <laughs> this is literally the most erratic ride ever through the galactic. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> like one minute, and then I'm like, what's under my foot? <laughs> this car. Um. Yeah, like one minute it's like we're and we're on, and then the next minute it's like Venus and Capricorn is trying to like get the hump into the sway of things and trying to. It's like it's like a synchronized dance, like Venus and Cap trying to jump in in into that. Yeah, so <laughs> we need more Earth. I'm trying. It's like he can't really jump on that. It's like the Uranus is too erratic. <laughs> And the Cancer Moon, yeah, I don't know. Something is just like right now. I'm seeing headlights on a tra tractor truck going through cornfields. Oh, I don't know what. I see on the clock forty one eleven. Hmm, forty four. Yeah, this person's gonna hit you up. They're waiting for like a certain time. Maybe this person's so called superstitious. Superstitious. They're in. They're they're into metaphysics. I feel this person is into numbers. I mean, nope, can't go then. It's like. There's some roundabout. It's like he's trying to make it. Oh my god, my gosh. my palms are itching. <sighs> Itch Zilla. <laughs> oh my god. I'm seeing something about bagels. It's gotta be the ice cream rope. The ice cream and rope, dude. <laughs> Would she comment to that? Oh my god. Oh my god, is it you? Hello, wow. Wait, are you like kidding? Are you for real? Wait, what are the odds of that? That is so funny. Wait, so what's your situation? Let's just have like a Lizzie McGuire moment right now. <laughs> so what's your situation? Oh my god, my throat chakra. <laughs> Let it be part of the message, I guess, yay? trench coat you wear it as a robe <laughs> how many pints down are you so are you the one in my living room <laughs> oh you guys are together tell her i said hi i almost responded to her comment Sage, do we have more? We have more questions about your drobe. Yeah, well, what, what other? LOL. Wait, but like what? <laughs> How is that possible? <laughs> Wait, what? Does she know that you're on the alchemy you chat right now? Wait, you're at her house, but then you're blocked. You're blocked on her phone. Okay. Wait, you're not there yet? What's with the what's with the X's with the robes and the ice cream pints? I'm seeing something about for uh, should we turn it forest like the forest bar soap. What is it called? Irish Spring. We did say something about the color green. Ambulus or uh. Police. Wow. Wait, so you know the girl who typed on the in the comments. What was her name? Hold on. She was like Duh, I'm over. <laughs> <laughs> oh 
Oh man, I'm over him. I'm being controversial Cupid right now. Or yeah, maybe in general, I don't know. People say all the time, we're watching you together as a couple. And like, I gotta be all honest. It, so like, that's you. She has a purple emoji. Oh, so you're a stalker? You know, wait, so, wait, so you're at her house right now? Oh, we need more backstory. I mean, that's like, yeah, we, we definitely need to do something about nachos. <laughs> I feel like this is Tyler. <laughs> yeah, that's me, I swear. Okay. Interesting. I mean, we're from your head to your toes, toes. Guys, look what I got for them the other day. And he's so cute. Looks like Isaac. <laughs> Sometimes I feel it. I, I do, Mira. All right, give me a sec. Let me get the tater tots out. <coughs> All right, booby babies. Why don't you come on out, booby babies? Okay, okay. Okay. I think we'll be hanging out Oh my god. Whoa. Oh my god. Whoa. Okay. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. 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 Ow. Ow. Okay. Mira, something about sangrias. Whoa. Hi, Alex. Oh. Oh my god. I like peanut colada. bought one today and then I was like uh oh I'm under the influence of the alchemy and you reads it's like I'm starting to get curious just because of the channel messages I mean Popeyes are, are really from what I remember delicious but yeah um <laughs> well oh So you said you're a Leo sun sign? What do you mean safe? What do you mean? It's like you're it's like you're in Narnia? <laughs> oh man. You're you're whoa, Jade. Are you pulling my leg, Tyler? <laughs> we do have the ace of wands. <laughs> Okay, hold on. Let me read something about gray suit. Ah! Let me read an ambidextrous queen. I don't know what that means. Oh my god, I'm sweating. It's so hot. Whew! From your, I mean, keep reading this one. From your head to your toes, toes. Touch clear in the room. I feel like this is Tyler right now. The Alfie and you chat. Is it? Yeah, that's me. Psst. Is it all right if I fall for her love? You have a suit underneath the robe. With the trip. Who are you? 
<laughs> okay, we're gonna pull on you. I don't know, I'm feeling good. Oh, the King of Pentacles. Are... Yeah, you're definitely under the influence of pop pieisms. Pop pieisms incorporated. I'm straight up ready to go. I mean, we're in hot toddy. Oh my god, right? The zoot suit gang. I mean, we're in intergalactic. <laughs> oh man. Is this you going all in? You, bro, you're definitely under the influence. I'm here in Z Z Z Zion, the Zion, Zionists movement. I don't know what you've been watching on the documentaries. Or I don't know what, but maybe, I don't know. Maybe, maybe it's a past life thing. The Hierophant? Let's see what else. The Nine of Cups? Are you worried? Tyler, are you pulling? Are you pulling all, all, all of everyone's legs and some plus one legs, me and plus one, seven of swords. What? Oh my god! Stop! My nose is itching like crazy. I'm smelling something kind of, uh, like spoiled milk. Yeah, smelling something. Return it. Return it. Three of swords. Something, I'm seeing a big baseball, like huge. I'm smelling something putrid, like really gross, um, like sour. So yeah, yeah, it's really gross. It's like something like almost like sewage. Like, yeah. Blech. So, yeah. Yeah. That's definitely a sign. Yeah. Okay. So, let, let's continue, guys. But, yeah. Uh, Alex. Alex is laying on this, uh, I mean, some of the pink panther. Clear in the crown. I want to get more on this person here. Who they're, um, I see frozen icicles. So he, you guys, he's definitely leaving someone behind. So, you know, this can be a message, Turkish delights. I, you know, in just general. That, to me, that's obviously a warning. Okay, like, just, yeah, like a separate message. Um, this is totally a warning. Turkish Delights, when, whenever I hear that, uh, 100%. If someone gifts you Turkish Delights, huge warning. Yeah. That's, that's what I'm getting here. Some of you, and that makes me think of, like, the Silk Road. That makes me think of ancient past life. You know, some of you, um, to the qua- To the Quarant, who is this person? To the Quarant, who is this person? To the Quarant. Return it down the left side body to the queer and who is this person? The Harfon. Five of Swords. I think. I think, guys, the Empress. They really do want to be with you. Okay? They do want to be with you. Um. And they do want to make it right, but they're not, um, I think they realized they were with a karmic, you know? I think that's just what it comes down to. They were, whoa, they were with a karmic. They could have been falling for Turkish delight. I'm in Lovelandia. 
Turkish Delight. Okay, there's definitely a message there. And however, which way, I'm here in asking price. Some of you, he sold off a property to be with you. So, yeah. Return the pound. Yeah, some of you, you guys, um, what do you think about this? How do you, how do you feel about this person who's wanting to come into you? Okay, so, you know, guys, I feel like with you and this person, like, you guys can, let's say it like this. You really are very protected, especially together. I do feel this is a high-level soulmate. I'm not going to say that they're, like, a, they're not a karmic to you, okay? Uh-uh. You guys cannot be together unless it's really in the higher form. Okay, like you and this person with the magician mirroring the Knight of Pentacles, you really have to manifest um, something or, or it's not going to happen. And spirit knows whether or not you're available for that. What's going on, dolls? I'm here in Rael. I'm here with something about Trump. I'm here in lock here. Yeah, you know, they have a very hopeful nature about you. But it's like weird because uh, I hope the third party is you. I, I, you know, I hope that because that would, first of all, make this make a lot more sense. To me, it would make a lot more sense. Like, this is, this is, can I see spirit a little bit more about that third party energy if it's not? Yeah, again, the Ten of Cups. Hmm. Oh, dear. This person could be a Gemini. Return it. They created a fake third party. They were tr they were very scared of you at a certain point. They don't want to approach you. For some of you here, I'm seeing a snake here. <clears throat> yeah, what I was smelling was like curdling milk. So, and I'm seeing rain. This person was playing hard to get with you at a certain point. Um, some of you, they were trying to manifest you... Uh, and they realize that that's not going to work. Trying to like summon you and bring you into their force field. It's not going to, it's not going to work. They realize that. I'm hearing B, something about bees. Sotheby's. I'm hearing as well. Okay, that's something about finances. I think this person, hmm, what else is going on in their life? Like aside from the matters of the heart. I really think there's a major change. Mirroring. Yeah, the hangman. I'm here in. Guys, to me, this person is a stalker. Total, total stalker, yeah. Um, three of Cups. Some of you, he was offering through an alias with you, yeah. I think they're very dynamic, this person. Maybe they have different sides to them. Like, sometimes, like, kind of like this energy. How it's like a pendulum swinging, like crazy. Mm hmm. They, maybe this person, yeah. Some of you, he was literally hiding from you even at a certain point. Okay, so I personally feel very confused with this message. Like, my logical mind. So, if you guys know what this is about, can you type... I'm here in elevator microwave? On a scale of, like, 1 to 15. Clear the energy. Return it to sender. I'm not about that. Ew. Um, something about raisins. If it is resonating and you know what this is about, can you type elevator pop popcorn microwave or something like that? And then, uh, like, what the scale is, 1 to 15. Like, what scale? 15, like, really resonating. Like, super like clicking i mean not that it matters this is someone's message and it may be something that you click over time i found that the reads that don't really make sense to me in the moment are the ones that resonate the most on playback for myself so i see something about a barber shop again 
interesting. So, my nose is itching, yeah. I keep seeing this, yep, yeah, I'm seeing something about a robe again. And that guy who was coming into the chat, remember with Alyssa, I, uh, she'll remember what read that was, I think, or some, whoever was in that chat, but I remember Alyssa and Charlotte was there. This person may stalk you. They may scry on you. Remember the hooded robed man? Yeah. In the room. And they were saying, oh yeah, like we also, the, the, he came to, over to their, uh, into their astral dream state or something or like they were yeah Alyssa said she was having dreams about that guy that read right there is kind of coming to mind right here return it just, mm -hmm. just clear the energy again you have a past life with this person again the king of swords is this person doing energy work um are they trying to do, let me see, are they trying to? I think it's more passive. They are, they have, a, well, this person has a strong aura. They have a very, they probably are very platonic, yeah. I do see them like thinking about you a lot. How deep into the, what is Jade, what is Jade doing y'all? Jade is under there like a ghost. <laughs> What is he doing? Return it, sender. My nose is itching like crazy. So do you do you know this person wants a family with you? They want they want to raise kids with you for some of y'all. So I'm seeing. Yeah, wow, the Empress right there flip. So they want to have a long term. They do want family life with you. God, Jade is being such a silly Billy right now. Jade? Hi, Jade. Hi, Barbie. Hi, Kim. That was that. Bros. It's literally in that in the rope, the astro chat. Hey, Isaac. Um, here in. Um, a million, a million, a million, a million. Maybe he has an accent. A million, a million. I'm seeing. Re he is. <coughs> I'm seeing rubber Wellington boots, like London. Little, like, red. Boots. This person, I think they wrote you a letter. Let me see how many elevator pockets we have and what level. Just out of curiosity. Interesting. The exactness. Twelve point seven five to thirteen. Interesting. We got we got a fifteen. Okay. At least we got a fifteen. It's like Robert. I'm here. Hello. It's like yeah. This person's outside the door. Here we go again with last night's. I'm here right here. He is again. Hold up. Is he, some of you? This is a ghost. Like, is this someone who has passed? Just return it on the back. What's just? Oh my, I'm seeing a tall, I'm getting like really irritated with these energies. A tall white, someone needs to like slap this, this lunar energy down at like a notch, just one notch. Like bro, it's too much lunar energy right now. Like we need to like have a moment right now. God, oh my God. <laughs> I just can imagine, I'm here in Edward. I can just imagine someone With this birth chart. Can you imagine the mood swings? Oh my goodness. The King of Swords. Queen of Wands.
So, yeah, I keep getting. They separated. It's either from a job, a country. Return in the safe world. Hi, Google. Someone has a dimple. Lord, I hate this. I hate this. You know, Uranus is, it can really just go in so many different directions. This person is like, okay, hold up. What is their intention with you? I'm going to pull on that again. Because I see this person is coming at you like so... Straight shooter t style. Six of Pentacles of Right, okay, with the Ace of Cups and the Six of Wands and the Six of Cups. They want to surprise you. They want to make this work. Like, they want a new beginning with you. They want to be with you. I'm going to ring Robert. Guys, like, I feel like they're just barely making it. Like, they're literally doing something. And then I'm seeing this fuse with risk. So it sounds like astral. Like I'm seeing this person realize they were in karma land. They needed to skip a portal. I see a cow. Like this person. Yeah, that's got to be what it is. Because I see abnormal. It's not human 3D. Like with the physics of the 3D. I see this person is time traveling. Yeah, they're hurling like to interact with you on the galactic. Ten of Pentacles with the Chariot. They want to, like, have a family with you. They want to have a family with you. <sighs> Clear the energy. Oh, my God. There is just, like, like someone... Someone here really is not going to like this. It's very controversial. Hence last night's read. The five of, yeah. Return it. But yeah, they're going to do this. I think they're going to sacrifice. Oh, this is the Scorpio reading. Sacrificing the, the I'm hearing the cosmic, the, the karmic X. This person wants to sacrifice their karmic to have your hand in marriage. Be careful here with this one. Yeah, that's Scorpio. Scorpio reading. Go drink water. I'm um, super itchy. Yeah, some of you, he's going to scream it from the rooftops. It's like very, uh, how does he feel about this karmic or whoever? Some of you, this is his mother. God, what is the role of the karmic for him? I see wine bottles. Again, maybe they're under the, oh my goodness. Just clear it again. I see a river. Some of you, there's some, like this person's flying. This is not on 3D. This person's... I see this person moving through so many timelines. It's giving me interstellar. Definitely go watch that movie. Yeah. This person is flying through time and space. Like... What did they realize moreover? They feel it's like down to the last moment. The High Priestess, the Four of Cups... Hear that door opening? Yeah, he's gonna spring up. He wants to know who you are. I'm hearing that. Maybe after all these years, maybe he feels it's very risky to like open this door. Maybe this person is afraid of you. God. It sounds like a past life thing. It sounds like though he's siding with his intuition. I see a moon. Yeah, he decided. This ticket and airport thing can be on the astral. Like, he checked out of that karmic energy. 100%. The lovers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what it's sounding like. Yeah.
I'm your ring. Game over. It's like, yeah, now he's like sliding into. Because if he doesn't make this portal, guys, some of you, the equivalences in a past life, like, he was running for his life to meet up with you. That's what I'm hearing. 70, 17 on the clock right there. He was running for this portal with you. Um, he was running, like, stray through a forest. I've been hearing that. And he, like, this was so incredibly risky. The statistics were not good. But you guys made it, I hear, in the past life. The equivalent here is, yeah, like, he could have gotten caught even with something. I don't know. I'm here in Journey. Whoa. J this makes me think of that guy on the ship in that one Sagittarius reading. It was quite quite an intense reading where... He was like, if you're if 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 I cannot be with you, I don't want to I don't want to be here though. She jumped onto the ship with him. Remember that? He was like, what are you doing? And like they uh they expired at sea. Remember that one read? This is Sagittarius reading. Jade is Sagittarius. Sorry guys, it's a mess right now. So yeah, um, Luna. Lunar uh, cycle has been insane. And it's a laundry day. Um, but yeah, like this. He's writing a poem last minute. Dear, dear Persephone, you are the goddess. You're the goddess. Yeah, it's like, oh my god. So all of this, though, feels very momentous. It feels, I see he's run, I just see him like moving very quickly though. Like I'm literally seeing the energy as things flying by him. It feels like as if you were, you know, when you're on the airplane, nothing feels like it's moving quick really. But if you see the airplane from the outside in, it's moving so quickly. So it's like all kind of relative, but he's moving very quickly towards you. Um, that's very interesting. So, can I get here a little bit more on the timing? I think some of you, you're in a connection here with someone who feels like a twin. Um, they, not to be uh, mistaken for narc, empath, right, dynamics that drain you and that are, uh, you know, covert narcs or whatever. You need to really see how you feel, okay, around this person. Uh, don't delude yourself, right? So, but there is a very strong union here, potential, and you're done with fantasizing, okay? And it's like, so it's like you both realized that's it. But you had to wait until the very last grain of sand passed through the hourglass. You couldn't traverse any sooner. You couldn't traverse any later. That's why it's like so on the spot. Like there is this element of perfection perceptively that this person needs to be ready to experience. And I feel like they decided that now is the time. Maybe they felt it. They felt, <clears throat> I'm going to something about Chris Christ. They felt the intuition call upon them to connect with you, to reach out with you. Like they know it in their bones. Like this is the moment I need to talk to this person now. There is no other time. Like, so there's something um, of this nowness. And it's probably Sun, Pluto, in Aquarius, zero degrees. A lot of factors, but namely, I would say it's Uranus. It's Uranus that's really breaking up and shaking up those patterns. And that's kind of what I wanted to talk about. Yeah, I'm feeling activation of the crown chakra on the right hand side. Of the crown chakra. Hi, hi, is it? See something about burrito? <clears throat> so. <laughs> I see raspberry jam. It's like, it's not he's late, it's he's on time. And that's why he's moving so quickly. So it tells me that actually he moved at the exact right time. Mm -hmm. Right meaning he moved. He made, he made the jump. He timeline shifted. He did the quantum leap in your direction. <clears throat> so, I don't see him in fear. I don't see him in regret. I don't see him in remorse. I see him in a state of honestly balance. Like, and that's why maybe there's this calm sort of 
you know, so-called cool collected energy that we've been seeing in the past few days with this energy of these astro chats of this person deciding that now is a good time. Now is a time where time needs no longer exists. And that's why he was dealing with the karmic, karmic being more 3D of the material, you know, and that's giving me where we see time and space subsiding more so, right? This person decided, and you are representing as he said it, a higher plane. Oh shit, the iPad's gonna die. Give me a second, guys. So he decided to live more like, I don't wanna be on Matrix, so maybe he made a last minute jump. It really can't be. Uh, but for him, it was, I'm gonna get a little more on that. Like, that's very interesting. I feel like maybe he was on, um, cause you know, we've been talking about how it's just far too late to be making any major karmic timeline shifts. Oops. The light up moon just fell. Crescent. It's like a little um, glow up moon. I think you guys have seen it. Anyways. <clears throat> so, we were in Lemony Snicket. I don't know what the hell. Lemons? Lemony sn Oh, lemons came through yesterday. Makes me think of limoncello. And that's reminding me of the uh, Italian references as well. So, and I was sitting on the Emperor card. Oh my god, I just noticed. Fuck, this is gonna die. Hold on. This thing popped out of the fucking wall. Y'all still there? Okay. Ow! My hair, Isaac! Ow! So, yeah, guys, I'm here in. This is about alchemy, past life, it's about the optimal potentials. This person optimized their reality and they decided that it was time, so called, to. I keep hearing the sound by Samantha Mumba. When you walked in and uh, that. Just clear the mic. There is this serendipity, but there really is no such thing, right? There is only the the balance, the equilibrium. This person found that, that, that point. Whoa, you hear the echo? I've never heard my voice echo in here. That's crazy. Um, guys, this is so giving me interstellar. You gotta go watch that movie if you haven't, if you feel guided to. Um, I feel like there's a lot of that movie here in, 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 in this astro chat. There's something that Put it on the rest of the body. Someone has like, like that choker necklace. Something about coffee. We were in caramels, caramel, caramels, like caramel candies, maybe. Like squares of gooey caramelized chocolate. I'm hearing as well for some. Yeah. So with the King of Cups and the Two of Cups, like, I'm hearing, we found love. Like, he found you. He feels like he found you. It's kind of interesting because I feel that you were very, very far from each other. Oh, right. Let, let's go to the Throw Chakra. He had an activation of the Throw Chakra, I see. So, what is this factor and what is his shadow work? Or she, whatever. I do hear he, though. And we are seeing the emperor as an archetype, not a gender, right? But yeah, and the king of swords, and yeah. Wait, you turn it. So he was operating in an alternate timeline with you. I feel like you and this person, you were not really in the higher time of timelines that you could have been operating in. Um, hence, he shifted to meet you in your higher timeline that you optimized yourself to. You were, it's like you meet someone, but you meet, it, it's like they hear your voice differently from how you hear yourself sounded out. You guys are talking, but you're not really interacting, if that makes sense. You, um, like, you and this person, you were sort of interacting with different fragments of one another. So this person actually has a lot of coming home to do. I feel like you've been more or less waiting for this person, okay? 
that's how you know that this is your reading as well, is that there has been a lot of separation between you and this person. King Wands, yeah, they were like, for instance, like you and this person have many past lives, for instance, just to make an example. Maybe you have many memories. It's like the memories that they remembered were the ones that weren't weren't helpful to your union in this timeline. I'm here in Kenny, Kenneth, Kennedy. The Nine of Pentacles, the Ace of Cups. I'm here in Briar. I'm hearing it again. Briar. Clear in the sacral. Return it. The Hermit. Yeah. I'm here in Raise. Raising vibration. Yeah, he, he levitated this person out of that portal, so. He's officially gone. I do see his starship mobilizing through the galactic. I do see him like on his way. So it's like giving me like Hubble, a Hubble ship. Yeah, he's kind of like, uh, it's like extraterrestrials. Clear in the cycle. I'm here in craving, craving love, craving romance, the nine of cups. I keep seeing something about raisins. The five of cups. So some of you, he feels... Uh, yeah, I'm seeing futurist, like what we would deem futuristic uh, into the 3D. Something about almonds, pastries with almond inside. What is it look like? Oh, booby. By the way, guys. Isaac and Alex, they have their own fashion, fashion channels coming up. I'm going to start making them clothes. They're going to have their own fashion line, so stay tuned for that. Already kind of started the channel, so that's fun. But once it's like officially ready for promo, then I will share the link with y'all. It'll, it'll be a vlogging moment for, for them. Hi, boobies. So yeah, that's kind of fun. Um, so, all right. Return to center. So yeah, what else now? <laughs> Return to center again. The, his channel name <clears throat> is Petit My Son Isaac. And <laughs> Alex is Petit My Son Alexander. So they're gonna have their own little, their own little, like, yeah, vlogging moments. <laughs> they have their own channels. Oh, um, yeah. So there's a bit of a story behind that. And so maybe we will do like a little vlog together at some point, And we'll. Yeah, we'll, we'll talk about it. We'll talk about it. <laughs> Isaac, maybe. Well, that's interesting, Professor. Yeah, that you noted that, Alicia. Because, yeah, I got this, like, final push. Spirit has been just like, hello, hello, when are we going to do this? So, huh? finally, yeah. Uh, I decided to do that. Yay. So, yeah. I'm excited, guys. Um, I'm literally going to start stitching. I'm going to start doing fashion uh stitching so side note anyways okay let's get further back into it five of cups yeah so i see this person on the train but i, I you know the more i'm seeing it it's not in the 3d guys yeah it's on the astral 100 percent. but for some of you it may be <coughs> in the 3d for how many of you is it like truly in the 3d like that this person is taking a flight to you if you already know, I mean, or however. But I see, like, he, yeah, I see this is on the astral. I'm seeing, um, yeah, he decided, no, I see it more in his subconscious, his higher mind. He's sifting through, like, it's like he saw you as someone who maybe you were, but that wasn't the higher timeline in which he could have seen you. I mean, what does that mean, you know? Did he see you as a booty call? I mean, what are we talking about? Eight, yeah, 84444 four, four, four right there. Let's see a little further. 
He wasn't willing to admit the love. Some of you, he was very fearful. Justice of right. Some of you, it could be due to something in his lifestyle. Like, that just... Yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't, I mean, in, it wasn't saving the last dance for him. So maybe he was sabotaging. That could also be Ace of Wands of Right. Something about a gold tooth that makes me think of Home Alone. The bandits. Again, the sun. So yeah, he's actually very proud of himself, guys. Like, whoever this is, like, they feel that they really have a new opportunity with you. They feel they have a new chance at life with you in whatever capacity and i do see that i see that spirit has clear this is the neptune pisces reading the universe has given you a golden ticket where will you take it to yeah i see something about a shower he's gonna take a shower and come to your place is what i'm hearing like it's like last minute but well mm. Some of you, it's like, interestingly, he's not actually like mobile though in the 3D. He is just, he's like, for instance, he's sleeping. Let's say I'm gonna, I'm gonna decide to take a, a nap. He's sleeping and then he's, he's astral traveling to you guys, like in his sleep state. Like that's when he's traveling the most. I'm hearing that to you. Some of you, I see something about Egyptian, like modern Egyptian. I see that, uh, the language, Egyptian language. Some of you has a vision of you in a wed in a wed a red dress. <laughs> now, but for some of you further, um, he is excited about what he no longer feels responsible to hold, to uphold. There's something that was his like perceived responsibility. Um and he's finally letting go of that, okay? So there's something karmic. It sounds like something generationally binding. So it's a karma from his um, family. I'm hearing that, okay? The Knight of Wands. <coughs> hey, Isaac. Hey, it's okay. So, but yeah, I do see like there's a country involved. If it's not in this lifetime yet again, guys, it's a past life that he traveled across this country and whatever to visit you. I'm here in cursive. Clear the energy in the crown. Oh my God, the itchy is coming back. Oh, he's... I'm here in Billy. I mean, we're in something about the eclipse is going to come through around the eclipse for some of you. So they significant with this connection. Eight of swords and the two of cups. Yeah, he's going to give you, he's going to, he's going to, he's dedicating some sort of memorabilia artwork of his to you. Wow. This is a, they're t a totally different person. You know, not because they are though, like return in the crowd. They're not changed. They just, you know, they elevated. So... This person elevating allows them to see more of what was always. They just see it more in this right now. So there's something that they reperceived of themselves, even the Wheel of Fortune, but it's like partly their mission. It's like now there was a divine timing. So there's a spirit. Spirit gave this person the portal. Okay, spirit gave this person the portal. I think we have a Scorpio eclipse coming up. Um, I don't have my ephemeris out in this moment on my mind the seven of pentacles yeah they are very eager to meet up with you so they want to they want to heal you i'm hearing that they want to heal you interesting i'm hearing they want to like be be someone of meaning it's like though that feeling when someone suddenly grows up you know it's giving me yeah like like this lady whoever commented in the last video or whatever I know this guy, yeah, like with the robe or whatever. And then the Hermit in Reverse. It's like, you remember him as like a mama's boy or something. It's like, he turns around like, he's a totally different person now. Like when you see him like many years later, I read that as cuddles, Alicia. Super itchy. Two of Pentacles in Reverse, the Emperor in Reverse. He's very happy. I see him on this airplane, like feeling very happy to be with you. So I'm hearing healing, healing. 
It's like he feels he has something. It's like he always was there, though, guys. He, it's like his mind reached the point where it could transcend the fear of what this all means, should he admit it. That is where he wants to be with you in the 3D, too. So he's allowing the 3D to elevate. By him choosing this higher plane, his, his 3D elevates. So this is about his soul mission, right? So when he chooses a higher timeline, everything around him, his whole connective reality migrates to this higher plane too so he kind of is working with his collective if you know what i mean bringing this message in the thought form of consciousness to whoever he holds ties to and so he's very empowered now is what i hear yeah six of cups he chose love so and it, it i mean it's divine timing it, it's it's really what was meant right we'll say it when you have your activations and your awakenings like this is all none of this is random so but it feels when we're looking at it from the ego's lens very random and very where is he and for she or they whatever you know it's really not about where it's about why why it is that we're here to understand how we may be privy to make complex what is otherwise simple that we that we always are in a space to observe and observe again why is it that this person was fixated though on one karmic cycle rather than rather than another that's the question and i think it's part of their 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 family karma guys 100 percent. yeah so they're like in some ways ashamed or shy that they let that get in between pursuing you you know this sounds crazy but this is someone's message some of you you have a twin coming in all right that's what you need to know sounds like they really did a lot of work can i get here a little bit on and i see like whatever that path was it was all meaningful you know so there's no like it's giving me finally done with work and like you're just closing shop and everything like when you're done you're really done and it's easy so this challenge was just indication for for this person to know that i wasn't ready yet i heard like that hey isaac It's almost like being, yeah, so the Ten of Pentacles. I'm hearing Chloe. I was hearing Chloe before I got on here as well, or like right before this video right here. I'm seeing a major orb here, like a big orb. Isaac! Hey, what are you doing? What are you doing back there? Angel? Can you come here? Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. You need help? Oh, let's go. There you go, boo boo. How'd you get back there? And then you feel stuck when you you think you're stuck. <laughs> the sensation that you're feeling stuck. I'm here at Biden. Biden. I don't know now what's with that. Trump came through earlier. King of Pentacles. Return. Oh, sorry, doll. We were in buy or a drink. Some of this person was staring at you. I think this was many years ago. He was staring at you. You were talking to someone else. You were in buy or a drink. Let's get a round of beers around the table. It's like this person was staring at you. He was like frozen. I think the issue is more passive. Spirit had his chakras on lockdown for some of you. That's not for everybody. But yeah, as a twin, this is spirit. It's in their hands. You, When you incarnate, you give it to spirit to understand what's best for the two of you. Uh, you allow spirit to take the reins and to sort of possess the interaction. So what I'm seeing is that there was a point that you were at with this person. I see something about Australia. We're just returning. I'm here and I care about, I care about, I'm here and I care about you. <sighs> I care about you. The throat chakra was really blocked, guys. Yeah, but it was on purpose by spirit. Spirit wasn't letting you guys interact. Okay, I see a big box, like a big uh, brown box. Yeah, like a shipping box or however. Like this person was not, per the astral legal jurisdiction allowed, to, in the, the contract that they had signed, you had signed, was not allowed to interact with you at that point. So there's, you know, there's, there's a lot of the perceived though, like mind at, what's that, man, men at work? Da 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 da. It was Friday night, and, 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 and she was shown in a dome. I don't know that song, but it's coming through. Ba, 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 ba. Oh, Young and Turks, is it? We were talking about Turkish Delight earlier. Okay, so anyways. And I... It looks like it's like a Turkish Delight. He's... He's staring at me. Isaac. Okay, 
strawberry just loves to chew this little top of this strawberry. Uh, so now I am seeing that, how would we say? I don't know, shoot, you know, we were saying Men at Work, the band. Oh, I'm here to fight. I can't fight for this love, but like, at least in the way that my mind wants to. So, but then interestingly, he was fighting his mind. This is for, not for everybody. This reading is not for everybody, all right? So yeah, this is a very select group of people who are definitely coming into union. You're like almost there. I mean, you're basically there and you probably have felt it. You probably got, can I get a little bit as to who, if this is your message, can I see, um, I keep seeing chocolate raisins. You could have an S in your name, your first or your last. That's for someone. Okay. I'm looking at that spider here. Someone needs to be a Scorpio. I'm here in Tatiana. Tati. Tatiana. Some of you, uh, maybe someone even has a tattoo. I'm hearing that. Someone has a tattoo, yeah. Um, someone's eating Reese's Pieces. Okay. So. Let's get a little further. Amir Ben Binyamin. B I N Y A M I N. Binyamin. Like Ben Benjamin, but it, it sounds like it's in another language. The Emperor. So it's like we finally take a shower now. Something about um Yeah, like he feels he can finally take his clothes off and like really yeah, he's available for you. Okay. I'm seeing luggage. Literally. Um, yeah. But I am also seeing it. I'm seeing, I'm having a lot of visions of roller luggages. And that's also the airport theme. So it seems like this person also has quite... Quite good karma. I mean, in the on the whole, you know, save their generational karma. Uh, but in in totality, they are on a mission. This is not someone just karmic to you. I'm seeing the number three one six. Like they have like a VIP access at the airport. Like, uh, yeah, uh, energetically, like they they're they. Most people, sorry, but like when we say it's too late. Just clear on the ground, clear on the right side body, return to center, clear the throat chakra. When this person is traveling, when we say, oh, it's way too late, you know, you took the blue pill, we're not talking about these people. We're talking about th this person is a high priestess and a higher priestess at that, a hair like that. This person is a very, very, very wise, wise old soul. I'm seeing 306 there. This person is very, um, very, very, uh, you know, intentionally, um, so maybe they founded some, this person's very integrated into the fabric here of this planet in many different ways. Um, they're very important to this planet and the way that this planet changes over, over the course of, um, millions of, millions of zillions of years, we'll say, but yeah, this person is a very old soul. I'm here in Dahari, Dahari, D-A-H-A-R-I. To hearty? I don't know. So they, I'm um, hearing something about Jamaica. Oh, wow. That's Isaac's birthday. And your name is Natalia. Wow. Interesting. Now, return. Very, very interesting. What's going on? I see someone wearing striped pants. I'm hearing healing again. I'm hearing something about the Garofalo. That's a children's uh, comic cartoon. No, I think it's a comic, like a little comic show for children. It's really cute. It's called the Garofalo. Now, oh, maybe it's Jaharda. Jaharda, Jamaica? Is it the airport? Anyways, okay. <laughs> we have a full blown soccer right now. Okay. <laughs> yeah, right now he's at the Heathrow, London Airport. Okay, so um, what else though? Yeah. 
So that could be a metaphor, though. Like, it could be a past life in London that he was dealing with, a karmic uh, contract of. Wow, right there, I see it said 100 minutes and zero, zero seconds. It was just like a 10,000 right there. Um, that's very interesting. So maybe it was like 10,000. Whatever, you're going to know what that's about. So there's something, 10,000 maybe, yeah, something A, B, B, C. This is very um, heated. Whatever this thing was that they were moving through, it was nearly impossible, guys, for this person to scaffold i'm seeing chocolate like a heart, heart chocolate it was return it impossible for them to really connect with you until they finalize that that connection to that one lifetime it's like they're sewing like and we were just mentioning sewing that's insane they are they need to fasten it's like having loose thread it's like he cannot leave you with a loose thread so when he left you, this is for some, or they, whatever, they left to figure out how to tie the end off of whatever they were dealing with. And that's really, um, it's quite, it's quite literal, maybe in some ways, you know, there were impending obligations legally, financially, I mean, just so many things that are just so very, mm, messy, and a bit yeah um unfortunate but it is just what it is right so this person feels um that in a way uh they're under they're on un they're under they're under the pressure of their mission so yeah they couldn't really like then they like we said again they agreed to that they, they couldn't dismiss what they had agreed to before incarnating on this planet um three 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 right there to be with you they had to be in an optimal in a prime so it's like kind of like saying like, uh, yeah, like, uh, hey, you ready to get married? Uh, no, uh, why? Oh, because I mean, I gotta take, I didn't even take a shower yet. It's like, would we sacrifice that? Like, I mean, you don't want to walk down the aisle like sweaty. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. We just talk about how I'm sweaty and itching. So yeah, this person was not ready. I mean, it's not like it's not in the karmic sense. It's their mission wasn't ready. To do, do, do right there, they. <laughs> I'm in the song. I can hear you breathe. I think it's a uh, Bang Hill. Something about Frank Sinatra's. Hmm. Fly me to the moon. That song, yeah. So I'm hearing. This person is very guided, and they know it. Like they are aware. Like I'm not late. Like they. They also know that you don't really keep track of time with them. Like it's not about the time. And yet, you know, it's like time is all really you've got here, though. Because if you eliminate time, you're together. So it's like, there's really this anomaly. And I feel like they are not really actually freaking out. Like, I don't see this person in a in a, in a frenzy. Um, I don't see this person worried. I see this person in the conversation with, as they may see it, their, their so-called... Um, however one sees it, God or the universe, they're spiritually um, awakened. I'm hearing that as well. So yeah, they, they've decided, guys. Like, I see, yeah, I see someone standing here. Like, this person here, I feel like they elevated, they graduated with their guides. Something was very, very much uh, whoo, <laughs> said and done with. And, but they are in transit still. So yeah, that's what you need to know. We'll come back later with